Hi, I'm Rosie Walford, and I'm your tour guide in Kalingrad, Russia, formerly known as Kalingrad, Germany. Kalingrad is a seaport city in Russia, sitting on the Baltic Sea between Poland and Lithuania. Not only is Kalingrad an economic hub serving many manufacturers and special economic zone, but is also the home of an ancient old Prussian settlement and fort. Along the Kalingrad Canal, there are many museums and monuments honoring that fort. I would love to show you the different sides of the city, but unfortunately, I can only transverse each of these seven bridges one time. Can you help me determine my route? Well, hello, Rosie. My name is Nancy Nant, and I'm a high school geometry teacher here in Texas. I saw your question posted on Ask Nancy, and I'm here to your help. Now I see, this Kalenberg's bridge problem has appeared before in the past. Leonhard uh, Euler actually solved this problem in the 1700s. It led to graph theory. Le uh, Euler's problem was when you take the city of Kalenberg, the city that you're in, um, and you have the seven bridges. He wanted to see if he could cross each bridge only once and start back in a starting location. But, not only did he have to cross each bridge only once, he wanted to cross every bridge. Now, um, let's zoom in and see the, uh, see the picture of the Cohenberg's bridge. So in order to solve the Cohenberg's bridge problem, you first want to draw the city of Cohensburg. As you see here, I drew a mock-up uh, mock of this. You know, you have your land, your water, and your seven bridges. Now, you uh, in order to solve this, Euler said to place a vertex on each of the land. So we're going to put vertex A right here, vertex B right here, vertex C, and vertex, and vertex D. Now what you want to do is you want to take this and represent it on a graph. So now I redraw vertex A, B, C, and D. I want to copy the bridges, so we had two bridges going from A to D, we had two bridges going from D to C, we had a bridge going from D to B, we had a bridge going from B to C, and we also had one bridge going from A to B. As you see, I have re-represented the Cohenberg's city in a graph. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a starting location. I'm going to pick location A. And I'm going to start from A and I'm going to leave A. So I'm going to go A to B, B to C, C to D, D, uh, D back to A, over here, over here. Oh no, I'm stuck. I can't get out of vertex C. Now what did I do wrong? Well, if we look at this and we think about Euler's problem, he solved that there must be an entrance and an exit from each point. So because we have only three paths going out of A, five paths going out of D, three paths going out of C, and three good paths going out of B, the, you, it's impossible to cross each bridge only once and end back at your starting location. So now that we've learned that we have to build more bridges, now let's redraw the graph. So we have A over here, we have B, C, D. And we had two bridges going from A to D, two bridges going from D to C, one bridge going from C to B, one bridge going from B to A, one bridge going here. Now, we have to think. We need an even number of bridges at this point, this point, this point, and this point so that you can enter the vertex and you can leave the vertex. I mean, you don't want to get stuck there. So, we're going to add one between A and D. And we're going to also add one between C and B. So, now let's test this. Let's see if it works. If we count, we have four, 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 and six. It should work. So now we're going to leave A, here's our starting point, we're going to leave A, we're going to travel to D, we're going to leave D, travel to C, we're going to leave C, travel to B, and back. 
Now we're going to do this again from new bridges. So we're going to leave, leave. We're going to go up to B. We're going to go across back to D and up. Wow, we got back to our starting location, only crossing each bridge once. That is great. Well, Rosie, I hope that helped solve your problem. Let's, let's go back to Kellensburg and create those two bridges that you need. We're going to have the bridge that goes from C to A, and we're going to have a new bridge that goes from A to D. Now, I'm confident to tell you that you can cross each bridge only once, and end back up and end in your starting location. Now you can show all of your tourists the great sights that are on all the different islands. I am so glad I met you today. Well, thank you so much, Nancy. I cannot wait to show my tourists from America the wonderful sights of Kalinga and Russia.